Uh, hi, it's Ali. And I'm Cash. Uh, and thank you for coming back to Scout Press today. This week, we have Joke Seven with Johnny. Um, some motivational quotes with me and Zoe. A restaurant review with Teddy and Brayden. Um, news with Zoe and Elsie. Uh, outro with Izzy and Allie. And, nope, it's Elsie. Uh, uh, that, that's Allie. That doesn't say Al. That says Allie, but it meant Elsie. Hi, I'm Elsie. And I'm Zoe. And welcome, and welcome to, to news. news. Zoe, did you hear about that an Australian man made a wig measuring more than eight feet across? Eight feet? Yes, eight feet. That's a lot of feet. That's like... <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many to count. That's really cool. I did not know. But, 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 did you hear that a four-year-old boy became the youngest person to publish a book? Wow. Wow. That, that is young. <laughs> That's young. <laughs> did you know that an emu was finally caught after four days on the loose? I hate emos. They're so weird. They're scary and ugly. Why? <laughs> no, they're not. I like emos. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. They're ugly. I should. I, I would look up a picture, but I can't because we're, <laughs> we're coming. But anyway, <laughs> they're not bad. I like them. Mm-mm-mm. They're gross. Yeah. They're gross. Ew. Whatever. <laughs> well, that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Braxton. What is your name? Gage. Okay, what are you going to be doing over the summer break? Uh, probably riding dirt bikes, um, doing hill climbs and races, and like hanging out with my cousins, probably, and, like hanging out with my family. Yeah. I do some of that too. Do you race at the BMC? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good place. Well, anyways, uh, see ya. See ya, man. Hi, I'm Braxton. What is your name? Maddie. What are you going to do over summer break? I'm going to be working with kids in preschool summer camp. Okay, that's cool. Um, next person. Hi, what is your name? Katerina. What are you going to do over summer break? I am going to be in the talent search program going to colleges. Okay, cool. Have a nice day. Hi, I'm Braxton, and what did you? What is your guys' name? I'm Jayla. I'm Peyton. Okay, uh, I might ask two questions today. First of all, what is Greenhouse Club? Mm, it's really where like you like plant and water and take care of plants. Yeah, just pretty much. And what type of plant is that? It's a strawberry plant. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Yeah. Okay, um, well, if you're in Greenhouse Club, uh, yeah, how do you not know? But, uh, anyways, bye. Bye. Howdy, I'm Teddy. And I'm Brayden. So, Brayden, what's your favorite restaurant? I'm going to have to say the Burger Dive. Yeah, I love it too. Probably because of the milkshakes and how big the burgers are and how many different flavors there are. The bad part about it, though, is it's downtown. True. What yeah. about yours? Uh, probably Buffalo Block. It's a really nice steak t- house. Eh, kind of downtown. It's pretty good. It has the best burger I've ever had before. Yeah. Nice. Well, have a good one, folks. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Allie. Today we'll be talking about a motivational quote by, by Walt Disney. Uh-huh. By Walt Disney, who is Walt Disney. In certain cases, he's a good Walt Disney. Um, In certain cases. Um, The quote is, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Do you have that courage? I do not have that courage. What are your dreams? I want to help little children. Not little children. I want to help little children, but people 18 and under. Just children. Children. Sure, just children. I want to be a child psychologist. There you go. Child therapist. What about you, Zoe? What are your dreams? I want to be an astronomer and study the stars. The magical stars. What about the Milky Way? Will you study that? To infinity. And the end. Bye. Hi, my name is Johnny, and I will be doing some comedy for you today. So, Easter's coming up. It's pretty cool. I mean, when Easter comes up, we always feel bad for all the frogs of the world. Because it's like, they can do everything a bunny can do, and more. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we should almost, like, re-elect the Easter animal, but... 
I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, because if you think about, like, the interview or the resume, I don't know, it's like, the frog comes in. I think I am qualified for this position because I am a spring animal. I am referenced in the Bible. I mean, I can hop, but it's probably not important. Uh, oh, I can also lay eggs, which is a key skill for this position. You know, and then this bunny comes in. I mean, I think I'm good because, like, I can hop. It's pretty cool. Oh! I'm also, like, furry, so I can, like, blend in with the grass and everything. You know? I think I nailed that interview. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I actually, like, had to look it up. And the reason that the bunny is the Easter animal is because these random German guys busted into Pennsylvania and was like... All right, this whole Easter thing, I think it's ridiculous. This is dumb. I mean, I want to replace it. Actually, I'm demanding that we replace it with um, a new holiday that was, like, in Germany where some bunny comes around and lays colorful eggs and these nests our kids make. Like, yeah, let's get to that. That's... Nobody here likes... That's... Yeah, that's majority. That's majority. We should change it. Uh, changed. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I mean, I hope you liked the comedy section. I hope you have a good day. Bye. I'm Izzy. I'm Elsie. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Bye.